Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, uh, I am relatively new to Texas, but I've gotten into uh, fishing. Fishing down at the jetties, uh, fishing, you know, wherever I can along the coast primarily. I've been catching redfish, speckled trout, uh, some smacks and other fish, and, and I decided to get a kayak. Uh, and like I say, I, I'm pretty new to Texas, so this is a new experience for me. Hope you can uh, bear with me and in, enjoy watching me learn uh, how to better catch these fish down here in Texas. Um, so with that, let's go out and take a look at the kayak I bought, and I'll, I'll show you how I'm trying uh, to set this thing up. So let's go take a look. All right, so here's the kayak. I got a little Jackson uh, Okuda 14. Uh, found a good deal here uh, in, in Houston. Somebody's looking to get rid of this one and upgrade models, so I picked this one up for a pretty good deal. Um, first and foremost, the most important thing of all fishing is to ensure that you have the proper decals on your vehicle. Uh, I'm from the Pacific Northwest. Uh, born and raised up there, and uh, like I said, I'm relatively new to Houston, Texas. Just getting acclimated and used to stuff, but I got to remember where I came from for sure. Uh, one of the things I've been working on, you know, I see all the guys with uh, different milk crates. Um, I've been just putting one together. I can already tell you the things I would do differently in the future. Uh, this is. Uh, inch and a half uh, PVC tubes. I did, one thing I, I like that I've seen other guys doing that's a little odd to me is, is the anchor uh, carrying portion. Uh, I notice a lot of guys are buying end caps for these things and then they drill a whole bunch of holes in it. Uh, well, you can go buy just a drain and it's about half the price and it works way better because you're guaranteed that the uh, Water will go out and not find maybe a low spot if you don't drill the uh, drill the holes in the right spots. But yeah, just an anchor. I got my rope in there and uh, a little buoy. Um, start at the front of the kayak. Uh, you know, it came with with these rod tip protectors. I thought was cool. Uh, one thing I'm already not liking, you know, and see that guys need to do is in these hatches. Uh, in this kayak, they're just wide open, so I am going to look at getting some of those uh, storage bags, uh, you know, that just keep things in place. And this hatch, oh, well, I might as well open it up. This thing is like gigantic, you know, so I can put, you know, full paddles, uh, you know, life jackets, everything. It goes, th really the length of the kayak is open. So I, I see a need for having the compartment uh, approach to, ha to these kayaks, but I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, we'll see how, how it goes, but uh, yeah, I mean, it had a nice, nice seat, sits nice and high. That's important to me. Uh, I'm a little bit bigger guy, uh, over six feet tall, so uh, I think that'll be helpful to just have that uh, range for my legs and then the view on top of the water, uh, of course, will be nice. So, a uh, couple things that I am doing, which I will change. Um, I see a lot of guys, uh, especially in the flats, you know, where they will have a pole, you know, to stake, stake out their kayak versus dropping an anchor. Uh, I just have an old hockey stick that I cut. It fits right through my scupper holes uh, perfectly. So I can jam that into the ground. You know, it's only maybe three feet of water is where it will work. But uh, you can see what I'm going for right there. Uh, don't know how it'll work, especially that it's wood. It'll probably want to float unless I get it stuck well in the water. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my first attempt. And again, I'll probably find something better. Or if you guys know of something better, why don't you go ahead and put it in your comments down below. Uh, paddle. Uh, of course, it is from Washington, my home state, so I was happy to see that. Warner Paddles, uh, I think you guys all know they're pretty good. This has a 
uh, you know, it's graphite. It's uh, very nice and easily fits into the compartments on this CUDA 14. So plenty of room for it. Um, don't laugh at one of my pole holders. Uh, but I found this when I was scuba diving in a reservoir, actually, in the Rocky Mountains in Salt Lake City, Utah area. It's rusty and beat up, but it works. So I just need to find a nice place uh, to mount it, you know, or I'll just get some of those star mounts. I, I really like the look of those and how, those, how clean those are. Because this kayak only has two of the flush mounts uh, on either side. So... You know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I, I think I'll always have a rod in my hand. And then, of course, since I have the rod tip holders, you know, I can always lay, especially my lighter, smaller stuff, uh, lay those down at my feet and, and work with it. Um, got a net. You know, again, this is my first trip. So I see that, you know, bungees are important. You know, you have uh, pliers and stuff's going to be falling all over the place if I don't. You know, this Jackson seat, you know, it does have a lot of compartments like that and stuff to work with. So um, I think I think that'll be enough for my maiden voyage. But uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys this. Um, we'll see how she goes. It's uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to try it out. Uh, you'll be able to see my my failures if I have a failure, and uh, you know that's what it is. So. Well, I'll uh, see you guys on the water. Uh, if you have any suggestions, recommendations, anything you can see I'm doing wrong right out of the gates, please let me know, and we can get through this process together. All right, so one thing I wanted to show you too was the ease of tying these things down. You know, I did go uh, get a bed extension um, and worth, worth its money, because otherwise with these 14-foot kayaks, they come you know at an angle off these short bed trucks and way way too uh, wide you know so if you have passing traffic that uh, was a challenge um, there's Chuck he's a rescue dog we rescued him out of the dog fighting pits of Sri Lanka he was part of the the uh, killer Shih Tzus Shih Tzus on the loose uh, they were they ran by several names but uh, he's a killer Careful for him. Um, anyway, another thing here: uh, learn a trucker's knot, man. Those are those are key. I don't want to bungee or tie down, you know, uh, with straps. Everything. Uh, if you guys don't know how to learn truckers' hitches, uh, worth their weight in gold. They'll help you um, easily get this. But this thing doesn't move. I mean, it's in there. Uh, you can see how that's going to look going down the highway. Um, really secure uh, I'll batten down the hatches get the seat in the cab with me so nothing blows out all right so that's it guys thank you for uh, tuning in checking out my channel uh, if you like it please let me know uh, if you hate it please let me know uh, lots to learn I'm new to filming new to all that stuff so I'm sure I'll embarrass myself plenty but uh, I'm looking forward to that learning experience and uh, Thank you all. Remember where you came from.